explain about a project titled Employee Performance. In today's dynamic corporate landscape, maximizing the employee productivity and satisfaction is a critical factor in an organization's success. This project dives into the realm of data-driven decision-making, leveraging the cutting-edge machine learning algorithms like logistic regression, SVM, K-nearest classifier, and the naive base and the random forest classifier. Through the extensive analysis of the performance metrics, feedback and relevant data, we aim to valuable insights into the factors influencing the employee success. By building the predictive models, we aspire to identify the key indicators of the future performance and detect the crucial patterns impacting the employee productivity. This empowers the organization to make well-performed evidence-based decisions, fostering a motivated workforce and nurturing the thriving work environment. The objective of this project is to conduct a comprehensive and data-driven analysis of employee performance, employing a diverse set of machine learning algorithms, including logistic regression, SPM, k nearest neighbor Neobase, and Random Forest Classifier. Through this analysis, our aim is to identify the crucial factors that influence employee productivity, job satisfaction, and overall performance. By building the predictive model using the selected algorithms, we seek to develop a powerful framework for estimating the future employee performance and detecting the significant factors. The project endeavors to provide the valuable insight to the organization, enabling them to make informed decisions to optimize the employee productivity, enhance the work culture, and foster a high-performing and motivated workforce. Ultimately, this project aims to contribute to the organizational growth and success by leveraging the potential of the data-driven approach in understanding and improving the employee performance. And these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. The software requirements are Python IDEL with version of 3.7, Anaconda with version of 3.7 on Jupyter Notebook. Hardware requirements are operating system as Windows, processor of minimum Intel i3 and above, RAM of minimum 4 GB, hard disk of minimum 250 GB. And to know about the flow of the project, these are the steps we need to discuss. The first one is importing the libraries. The project began by importing the essential Python libraries like Pandas, NumPy, and Scalar, which are crucial for the data handling, data manipulation, and the machine learning tasks. These libraries provide the various functions and tools that streamline the analysis process. And the second one is importing the dataset. The dataset contains the crucial information about the employee, such as their age, gender, education background, job role, performance rating, and the various other factors that influence their performance. And the third one is exploratory data analysis. It involves exploring and understanding the dataset characteristic, checking for the missing value, examining the data distribution, and identifying the potential outliers. Insights gained during the EDA guide, the data pre-processing and the model building stages. And the fourth step is data visualization. It is a powerful tool to present insights in a visually appealing manner. Various plots and charts are created to visualize the relationship, trends and distribution of the employee performance of related factors. Visualization aids in understanding the data and communicating the results effectively. And the fifth one is building the model. Here various machine learning models are built. The first one is logistic regression. It is a classification algorithm used to predict the categorical outcomes, making it suitable for the employee analysis of the performance project. By training the logistic regression model on the labeled data set, we aim to predict the performance rating as discrete class. The algorithm estimates the probability of the each class and selects the most probable class as a final prediction. Its simplicity and the interpretability make it a great choice for understanding the influence of the different features on the performance rating. And the second one is SPM. It stands for Support Vector Mission. It is a powerful classification algorithm that works well with both the linear and the non-linear data. In our project, SPM will be used to predict the employee performance rating based on the various input features. The algorithm finds a hyperplane that best separates the data into the different performance classes. SPM aims to maximize the margin between the class, thus improving the generalization to the unseen data. 
its ability to handle the high dimensional feature space and the non-linear relationship between the features make it a valuable addition to this project. And the third one is K nearest neighbor classifier. It is a simple and effective algorithm for the classification task. It classifies the new data point based on the majority class among its K nearest neighbor in the feature space. In this project, it can be used to predict the employee performance rating based on the similar employees rating in the data set. The choice of the number K influences the algorithm's performance and is crucial to find an optimal value through the experimentation. And the fourth one is Neobase. It is a probabilistic classification algorithm based on the Bayes theorem. Commonly used it for the test classification task in our employee performance analysis project, Neobase can be employed to predict the performance rating based on the textual information such as employee job role, education background, or the business travel frequency. Despite its assumption of independence between the features, Neobase can yield a good result and is particularly useful when dealing with a large amount of testable data. And the fifth one is Random Forest. It is an ensemble learning algorithm that combines the multiple decision tree to improve the prediction accuracy and reduce the overfitting. In our project, the Random Forest classifier can be used to predict the employee performance rating by aggregating the prediction from the multiple decision tree. The algorithm's ability to handle the complex relationship between the features and its robustness to the noisy data make it a valuable tool for accurate performance prediction. And the next step is Accuracy Comparison Graph. After training the models on the accuracy comparison graph is plotted to compare the performance of the different algorithms. And the next step is training the model. During the training phase, the selected models are trained on the labeled data set to learn the pattern and the relationship between the input features. And employ the performance rating, the model adjusts the parameters to minimize the prediction error and enhance the performance. And the next step is user gives the input. To facilitate the user input interaction, a Flask web application is created, enabling the users to input the employee information for the performance prediction. The Flask framework streamlines the interaction process and serves as a user interface. And the next one is the given input is pre-processed for prediction. The user provided input is pre-processed to ensure it's matched the format used during the model training. Pre-processing involves handling the missing value, encoding the categorical variable and scaling the numerical feature for the uniformity. And the next step is trained model is used for prediction. The processed input is passed through the trained model to predict the employee performance rating. Each algorithm provides a prediction based on the given input features. And the next one is final outcome is displayed. The predicted employee performance rating is displayed to the user through the Flask interface. The final outcome includes the predicted performance rating and additional insight derived from the model analysis and the execution of the project. To execute the project first, we need to open the code folder. And this is the code folder containing of various details and the files within it, the static folder containing of the CSS file within it, and the template folder containing of the HTML document like of index within it, and the app is in people file which likely contain the information related to the printing logic. It includes the code written in Python that handles the server-side operations such as processing the user request, interacting with the database, and generating the dynamic content that to be rendered in the HTML template. And the employee performance prediction is an IPYNB file which contains the combination of code, graph, and output all in one place. It allows the user to write and execute the code and the individual cell, making it a popular choice for the data science. And this is the data set that we used in this project in the form of CSV file. And this is a PICL file which contains the algorithm's information and it can be loaded into the project code during the runtime to utilize the training model for the various tasks such as making the prediction on the new data or performing the specific operation. And for the execution of the project, we need to build and class framework as of printed. And the overall code is present in the IPYNB file named the employee performance prediction and the combination of code, graph and output all in one place. And for execution first, we need to copy this code folder path and then open the Anaconda prompt.
Here, first we need to change the location of the disk to F because our code folder is present in F disk. Then write a command cd space and paste this code folder path. By using this command, the current directory will change to the code folder path. And then write a command that is python space app.py. By using this command, it will execute the python script and perform the runtime check for any syntax errors or the logical issues. And then click on enter button. After running the app.py file, the class framework will host an default address like this. We need to copy this address and paste it on any of the web browser of our choice. And I prefer to use the Google. And I am pasting this link and then click on the enter button. Here it will redirect it to this page containing of some input details that are need to be filled. Of employee department as of 2. And employee job role is of 2. And employee environment satisfaction is of 3. And employee last salary high percent is of 2. And employee work life balance is of 1. And experience years at this company is of 0. And the experience year in the current role is of zero. And the year since last promotion is of zero. And the year with current manager is of zero. And then click on the predict button. Here I predicted as of excellent performance. And here we can predict the other detail of. Two. And here I'm entering the detail of employee department is of five. Employee job role is of one. Employee environment satisfaction is of 3. Employee last salary high percentage is of 50%. And the employee work life balance is of 3. And the employee years at this company is of 5. And the employee year in the current role is of 3. And the year since it last promotion is 1. Years with current manager is of 1. And then click on the predict button. Here it predicted as high performance. In this way, we can predict the performance of employee by using this various machine learning algorithm. And this is the accuracy comparison graph where x axis represents the score of each algorithm's accuracy and the y axis represents of the algorithms we use in this project. And in conclusion, this project has successfully explored the realm of employee performance analysis through the application of various machine learning algorithms like logistic regression, SPM, k nearest neighbor classifier, NeoBase, and random forest classifier. Through data driven insights, we garnered the valuable understanding into the factors influencing the employee productivity and the job satisfaction. By building the predictive model, we identified the key indicators of the future performance and detected the significant pattern. The comparator analysis of the algorithms revealed their individual strength and the limitations in this contest. Overall, this project offers a powerful framework for the organization to optimize the employee performance, enhance the job satisfaction, and make the informed decision for thriving and high performing workspace. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.